been a great experience for me. It's a life-changing experience, I would say. I've lost about 20 pounds, or over 20 pounds, in less than a month. Testimonials and pictures of folks right here in San Antonio who have taken back their lives. They've committed to becoming more healthy. And joining us this morning is the person who's helping them get there, Dr. Jacob Torres from the Institute for Functional Health, along yes. with patient Julie. It's so nice to see you. Thank you for coming this morning. Nice to meet you. All right, I, I'm excited to share this story because this, the, your story is unique, but what got you going is something that motivates all of us. Uh, when we lose a loved one, we start to take a look at our lives and, and, and we want to live as long as possible. Is that what kind of motivated you to kick things into gear? It is. I mean, um, my mom died a long time ago in 1986, but uh, my dad passed away in 2014, February mm -hmm. of 2014, and I, had, um, I was lucky enough to be there with his declining years. and. I just kind of said, I've got to do something. I'm confronting my own mortality, and I've yeah. got to do something to set a better example for my son and just feel better. So that's what got me started. I started with You Are Your Own Gym DVD sets. Okay. And was able to lose about 25 pounds. At my heaviest, I was 180. I've got some pictures to yeah. share. These are of you uh, before you started your quest to get healthy, I suppose, uh, which was something that you began on your own, which I think is, is great to mention because a lot of us try to do that. We try to run. We try to get healthy. We try to exercise at home. Tell me about this picture. Well, this picture, uh, it was from October of this year, October 22nd, which would have been my mother's 76th birthday. Okay. I chose to run a virtual 5K. Uh, it was through Active.com. The proceeds went to breast cancer research. Okay. Mom was diagnosed in 1982 with breast cancer, and she was an incredible woman. She fought the fight courageously, graciously, and um, it spread to her brain. Mm -hmm. She died in 1986. Uh, but I wanted to do a little bit more in October than just wear a pink T-shirt. You know, I wanted to have something that was going to fund breast cancer research and then just do something in her honor, and I chose to do that on her birthday. I was supported by some amazing friends who came out on a really rainy, kind of gloomy day, um, baked for me, brought fruit for me, and brought water for me, and cheered me on, and my adrenaline was so pumped up, and I was stoked, and I'm sure that's why I ran my PR of 28.22. That's awesome. That is awesome. And I know, you know, when you're trying to become more healthy, Yes, it's about exercising, mm -hmm. but it's also about taking care of your body mm -hmm. and make sure you're putting the right things in there. Julie, at one point, hit a plateau, right. and that's where you came into play. Yes, of course. You know, uh, Julie's a very interesting story because she was already starting to make a lot of transformations in her own life. Mm -hmm. So actually, her story has actually inspired me as well. I mean, I remember having the conversation with her about two weeks ago saying, Julie, we need to go share this with people because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out there that are starting to do these things. And, and the Institute for Functional Health is very unique because we build things for people that maybe they just need a jump start. They're right. plateaued. Maybe they need help along the way. And Julie, Julie is actually very unique in the sense of, yes, she had some thyroid issues. We've talked about numerous, which we've always talked about here yeah. on the show, uh, was playing a major, a significant role in her plateau. She was able to avoid the inflammatory foods, which during this time of the year is very important for us to kind mm -hmm. of understand that we can still enjoy Thanksgiving and Christmas uh, and still be able to promote healthy living. And that's exactly what she's done this whole time. She didn't take a lot of help. Uh, she really understood a lot of the things she needed to be doing. We connected some dots for her, and now she weighed in at 136 pounds. Uh -huh. um, and wow. size six. Yes, and a size six. And, and I wasn't size 16 before. That's yes. amazing. Uh, and that's exactly what the Institute for Functional Health is all about. You and know, it's, it's also about learning, and I think this is so important because you have a mom who, who passed away from cancer, right. and you know, f for me, that's, that scares me because I want to be around for a long, long time. So not only is it important that you're healthy on the outside, it's also healthy on the inside. Yeah. What, what did you learn from Dr. Torres about the things that you're putting in? You know, I think uh, it made me more conscious of eating cleaner, mm -hmm. and uh, he uh, encouraged me to run. I, if somebody would have told me I would be running a 5K about three or four years ago, I probably would have laughed hysterically, yeah. because I thought those days are just way long over, but um, he encouraged me that, to do that. And just, uh, I think just taking better care of myself in general. Yeah. And, I'm lucky that I have a family that's willing to try my new recipes like farro and, <laughs> and uh, quinoa and things like that. Yeah. 
you know, we've had a lot of folks on this show that mm. have come through your office. Some right. of them are dealing with diabetes. Right. Some of them are severely overweight. Some right. of them can't even move. Right. Julie is different, you know. She mm -hmm. just needed sort of a kickstart to get things right. going. Right. You tailor your program to whatever people are looking for. 100 percent. It all starts off with a free consultation. Okay. You know, she came for the consultation. And I do have to mention, she is a San Antonio Living viewer. That's right. You know, so she uh, she heard about us <laughs> through the show. She drives all the way from Carn City to San Antonio to come see us. Wow. Uh, just because that's how that's how that's how much she wanted to make the changes. Mm -hmm. We did the initial lab work, figured out that she was hypothyroid, had hypothyroid symptoms. Uh, we we're able to clean up her system a little bit, correct the digestive issues, the, infl the, the inflammatory cascades. She was able to lose the weight. And again, it was so easy to work with Julie because she had a lot of knowledge already. And I know yeah. there are people in San Antonio that may not have that much knowledge. Mm -hmm. They need some kind of baseline. They need some guidance. And we will be there to help you, whether it be just connecting some dots or walk you through the whole path to transform yourself because people are looking for alternative approaches people Absolutely. are looking to know what's going on with them and we are offering a lot of different lab testing as well in our office now okay. to be able to give people more information on what's going on with them okay. because Science is always changing, and we need to stay on top of it, and that's what we're excited about. Well, Julie, thanks for sharing your story this morning. I think it'll inspire a lot of people to take that next step, make the call, get that free consultation. I know you work with a lot of insurances right. as well, so if you've got insurance, uh, have it handy when you call for that free consultation. It's the Institute for Functional Health uh, downtown San Antonio. The phone number is there on your screen to call for that uh, free consultation. It's 468-1891. Again, 468-1891, and you can find out more information at IFF health.com.